there goes my block leather bag. Here we go then. Here is my block leather bag. Uh, this time I'm in Munich, Munich, Germany. Yeah, I've not been at Mercedes Benz here in Deutschland and picked up a new Mercedes printer. I'm gonna bring home for a customer, actually a sponsor. And now I'm on the way to a place uh, to pick up a machine for my dad. And the GPS says I'm on the right way, but I have a feeling I'm on the wrong one. It's that time of the... Oh shit, that was not good. Okay. That I should have shot. What to try to say there is that uh, it's that time of year where it's time to go around to my sponsors and deliver out a Christmas present. That's a nice time. No, I'm signing and I'm packing some posters because all the great sponsors is getting a picture like this one or this one, depends which one was the main sponsor for the weekend. I also have this one with the XL. And they're getting a nice calendar. And I have some nice model cars I made to my main sponsors, but actually I can't find them. I was sure they were there, but they're not, so I have to go and look for them at home. And some sponsor is getting a bake stuff from the baker. I have enough here now, it's eight bags. I was home now and I found the cars. This is the one who is going to Ola Antonsen, Antonsen Timber. Made four different cars, one for Tribune Mann, one for Excel, and one for Olav, and one for Bilak That's That was my four main sponsors this year. What we're doing right now is that I continue welding this wall here. You can see I made the first one here now. I'm on the second one there. This wall we're gonna have glass, so the glass gonna be glued on here. And further down, almost totally on the way down. And Jon is actually preparing the glasses. That's because this is all doors from uh, douche cabins. And this we have to take off and then remove the glue and stuff. We have plenty of those. So that's why we're gonna use them down there at the paint box. So the wall inside there is done welded. I'm gonna start to paint primer it right now. Then I want to mix the paint, you know, this paint box. And I used the drill and I drilled it like this. And I lost it with the other hand, so this was going around like this, really fast. Guess what happened? This hub. It's paint everywhere here now. So this wall where it's coming glass, I have painted now epoxy, I'm done with that. Hopefully tomorrow I can get some paint and paint the color. Yeah, it's now Christmas morning. Half past uh, five o'clock in the morning. I'm soon going to the family's sports trip for a big tradition we have. That is to do fitness in the morning on the Christmas. <laughs> Hello Marcus! Hello! <laughs> Are you ready? So, I'm done warming up. Time to find a post. Hello Arin, how are you doing? It's wet too. Warm up. <laughs> Marcus is now showing the exercises we're gonna do. As you can see, it's a lot of people here. It's gonna be a long lap. One lap is done. How was it Emily? You look tired. <laughs> we're done. How are you doing for that? Very good. This is a nice tradition. Huh? Sure is. Only the hard boys were here this morning. What's good for you still? <laughs> this guy is here once a year. Every Christmas. Nothing more. It's nice to see you. It goes well every, every Christmas. Every Christmas goes well. Yeah. And now, straight after fitness, I go to Oats. Baking stuff. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? You have some uh, bake uh, cookies for me? <laughs> See you all. There we go. I think I'm going to survive the day now. Look now. The snow is here. Yeah. Which yeah. day is it today? It's uh, Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. 27 or something in December. We have now secured the area here. And look what Jul brought for me. <laughs> That means no swimming in the pool. Yeah, no swimming in the pool. So today's work is mixing up this Weber Rettmasse. We're gonna use it inside there, where it's gonna be my brother and father's office. Hello, <laughs> you are mixing the water. Mixing two and two, you know, go faster than one and one. Now they put the heat cable. Like I told my brother and father, the heat cable in the floor is for gay guys. So it's fitting them. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing inside here, but. So, around one hour ago, we was done with this. What do you think, Jon? It's going good. It's straight and nice. Tomorrow we're gonna to take the piece inside there. What you see there, it's just a piece of a hammer we had to put down there to keep the pipe for the temperature sensor down because this was floating up. 
So this remove tomorrow. Hello. Looking good. Looking good like always. It's uh, day two of the fixing of the floor. This one is not dry. Laura. Now we're gonna do this piece because we didn't do this together with this one yesterday. Second piece there is now done. I said earlier this is gonna be an office, that's wrong. Here my brother and father are gonna have a kitchen on the wall there. Here they're gonna have a sofa group. There they're gonna have a TV and there my father is gonna have a small office. Yeah, gonna for sure gonna be great. What are we doing? We are emptying the pool for water. Just remember. No swinging allowed. And the reason why we are doing this is because we're going to make a ramp here. I said this earlier, I think. But now we're going to take out the water and we're going to start to make the fundament for the ramp. I forgot to tell you guys, but today is 1st of January 2020, so Happy New Year. You're not done, removed all the water, dig the bigger hole. So it's good. Now then tomorrow we're going to start to make a fundament there on the corner. Yep. But first of all, all now we're going to clean all the equipment. <laughs> and more than I think we have to clean the gorge plus a little bit also. So this is the one I'm going to try to fit down in the hole now, as we're going to use as support. It actually looks a little bit too high. I think maybe we have to shorten it down a little bit. Then we're going to adjust the laser where it has to be. Somewhere around there, I think. I need more steel for the for the frame in the backyard for my roller's workshop. So here I am, standing tall. All right, then it's time to spin. Been in the poop bank, picking up poop. So now is the time to fill this hole. This we mounted yesterday. It's now stable, straight and uh, fast. Hello, rally driver. That's you. So after a few hours with digging, the hole is soon. Soon filled up. I have now carried out a hole there. We're gonna put a frame inside there on the top of this one. And we carried a what to say, a track. We're gonna put a frame inside here too. I think it's good it's cleaning day today. Now you can see we put this inside the wall. We also hammer out all the stones and stuff on the top there so we have a little bit to put the ramp on so it has to port here you know so it's not in the air but now we clean up go home it's late now it start to look like something now we can see see roughly how the end result will be everything is now done welded together i'm gonna make one more support from here down to the wall we're also gonna make one support from there to this wall to this concrete and I also have to weld a little bit more. Oh, that was hot. I just carried it. Weld that piece on there. Just dig away this corner now because we're going to make a small ball here tomorrow. Down there. That's the corner I digged away yesterday. Now I'm uh, making, uh, putting easy board on the ground and gravel. And we're going to build up a wall with this uh, Lego Grosser over here. The steel frame is totally done now. This we're going to remove later. This is going to have as a support to make the floor here. This one is now welded on down there into the wall with bolts. We also made it like this so we have, can lie on this one, the ground fundamentation. Fundament, I don't know how to say it. And we made this one in there to that one. So now it's uh, solid. The first row is down. So the wall I made here is done filled with concrete and everything so what we continue with now or i continue with now i made those today because we're gonna have a rekkverk i don't know what that is so we're gonna put down in those holes and now i start with armoring i'm going to do this over the complete floor you want to share again today you are a true fast like always yes. i don't know what true for this in english but Means that he is revival. Depend, huh? Dependent. He's dependent. He's here helping me every Saturday. What we did today, I'm going to show you now because that's pretty cool. We glue it in all the glasses in the paint box or the outside glass actually only. It's later also going to be glass here, but as you see here now, 
glasses in all the way down there. But I also gonna have glass later here on the inside. I'm gonna have double the glass. But this we're not gonna glue, this is gonna do with gasket and bolt so it's possible to take it down. So that's a different project, but all the glass are ready in the study over there. So now when we are done with that, I'm actually not sure what to start with. I have so many places I can start. <laughs> Where should we start, Jon? I'm not sure. Okay then. The car with all the concrete for the ramp is here. Time to stop. Now we're talking. Here you guys can see again. Ramp is done. Now we're gonna start with the room with inside here. This is gonna be my brother's workshop. This is where we made the floor one year ago around. A new roof. Now we're gonna start clean up and fix the walls. When the walls is done here, we're gonna start with the tails on the floor. And as you guys can see, it's gonna take a little bit of time to make this one finish. Now we're gonna remove this wood scaling and see how the inside the result is. There we finally go. Most of the wood pieces is off. Now we really see how it's gonna be looking in the end. Looks good. Looks actually perfect. As you can say, we made it uh, like this to don't uh, hit off a uh, big piece of it. It's more solid then. And we made this up here to because of the water. So the water is coming in here and joof, go down. Don't go into this one. And this we're gonna hammer out because this is for the Rekwerk. I don't know how to say it. But it's going to be the right quick. It's Sunday morning. I'm in the car for my sponsor, Ola Antonsen Antonsen Timber. I did some work on this car for him, so now we're going to go and deliver it. And same time we are there at his place, we're going to watch his museum and some other cool stuff. Yeah, that's the plan. Here we are, Ola's place. <laughs> this is a cool place. He have some machines here too, eh? Ja, la ja. Ta sko min nu. This is inside Olaf's house. <laughs> Olaf, tell me a little bit about this. How many hours did you spend nah, making all these walls? Spent a lot of hours. First, I cut the trees in Bergen. Uh, a lot of uh, 40 meters tall trees, and, uh, and then, uh, there were. So the construction itself was made up in Elverum, but then my father and myself and Stine did all the other things with the roof and the floors and the windows and put in this tree and some other stuff. <laughs> That's cool. You spent some hours. Yes, yes. <laughs> Olaf, yeah. please tell me what uh, happened on the front there. I was on uh, SS-15 up in nor <laughs> northern part of Norway. SS-15 in north yeah, of yeah, Norway? Yeah, I was going very fast. A little bit too fast. <laughs> but, uh, we'll fix it. We will fix it. Yeah, we will fix it. No problem. Yeah. And here you have some machines in stock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to make some money, you know. Many have expensive hobbies, so... <laughs> you need to make money. Yeah. yeah. This one is uh, pretty awesome. Yeah, a very special sawmill from Australia. You can cut this way and the other way, and you can even make a uh, water oh. board 90 degrees. <laughs> That's cool. From oak. From oak? Yeah, yeah. Oh la la, second one. Yeah. Look at this wood piece. This is uh, 9000 kilo. This one. <laughs> We're going to make some nice tables. I actually love the place you got there. It's a really nice place. If anybody wants to make a special uh, uh, kitchen table, <laughs> you know who to call. This is another table table here. I love this house. <laughs> you have a lot of projects here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This one actually remember this this spice. This one I brought home from Germany for you. That's yeah. many years ago now. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Here you have a Vinago camping caravan. 
V8 Chevy. <laughs> and what are you making here? Uh, Marlin is going to build a house up in the corner there, so I'm cool. just preparing, taking away the wood. This is not a new one. That's oh, an old one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Somebody need a jeep. <laughs> what are you going to do with that one? My son have this one. Okay. The project. Had... So your son started with it, and now is it only parts? Yeah, he bought this uh, for the project for getting parts to, to another one. Okay, I don't understand. Have. I don't understand. <laughs> Ola, what did you just say? Uh, this is another old old part. This is uh, the log is rotten, but the limbs are hard. So that's that's the most important thing. <laughs> like old guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this old house is actually Ola's museum. We're going to watch it now. <laughs> yeah, have a, here we got one other tree. This is the museum. The floor have to be restored here, as you can see. Yeah, there's a lot of chainsaws and a half piano. As this yeah. is an Orega talent thing, I cut it in two with chainsaws. This we actually showed in the other vlog, didn't we? That when he was yeah, killing yeah, this yeah, piano? Yeah. Or Flegel? So some old chainsaws. So, it's plenty. Yeah. And in the next room we got more. Uh, the old old parts, this is a two-cylinder uh, from Germany, NSU. Cool. <laughs> And, uh, have to be you. two guys you can see to yeah, use it. Yeah, is a 500 cc four stroke. Ola, you got some trophies here too. Tell me. Yeah, different ones is from with chainsaws mainly. This is for the world championships. One gold, two silver, and two bronze. One gold, two silver in world championship. But uh, yeah, and, but, and some is from skiing actually. Also, I started skiing when I was 35, so I was too old, but. Actually, I was number 13 or something in the Grand Slalom in the Norwegian Championship for veterans, and so I'm pretty proud of that, so... You always, or you continue surprising, eh? Yeah. And now the dogs run away, so we have to look for the dogs. Now we're entering the workshop and warehouse. <laughs> yeah, workshop and warehouse. Yeah. Here we have some tools, some clothes, and also a good memory from go karting. Yeah, as you guys know, Emil Antonsen, the son from Olaf, European champion, 2013. No one had been there, been it before or later in go kart in Norway. So we spend a lot of money on it. So the, the, the <laughs> I'm go sure go you spend a lot yeah, of money. Yeah, go kart, we uh, he won the championship with the. Uh, Put it on the wall. We didn't. I've never run it since. No, that's cool. Cool yeah, to keep it. it. Hey, hello, buddy. Hey, you was fat. You get enough food, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Here we have a lot of guide bars or bars from chainsaws. The stairs is homemade. This is pretty cool, eh? <laughs> Very special stair. You know, it stops here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here's a rear axle from go-kart as a handle. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a rear axle with the bearings and everything from a go-kart. <laughs> I like this one. I don't feel safe, but it's okay. Here I've never been. No. Oh, here's a fitness studio to Emil I can see. Yeah, yeah. Some go-karts. One, two and one outside. Three, so yeah, totally four. Oh, these stairs, it's not great if you're drunk, eh? Then you're game over, I guess. Then you're gonna lose. Also, this one should not be drunk. In. And here you can come and get a kurs. What's kurs in English? Uh, it's a climbing course. You can learn how to climb trees. You have to put the spurs on and the belt. And you climb up here and you learn the techniques. And then you can later on how to cut the trees, the branches, and the top, and everything. And rigging equipment, winches to take them slowly, to control down. Everything so, you have here? Yeah. Show people. Yeah. Practicing first inside and then go, we go out in the bush and do some climbing there. Cool. So here now, we lined up the sprinters. This one, you brought from my dad from years ago? Yes. This one, this uh, 3 now, 519, 5 yes. toner, 190 PS. 
this one four wheel drive four wheel drive you bought brand new from me yeah two years ago this we ordered from Mercedes in Germany brand new yeah and now in December few one month ago I picked up this one for you in Germany yeah, yeah. I, I I was sponsoring you and also I had to buy a one year old yeah car this time you didn't have money for a new one since no, you were sponsoring no. me so yeah, we have to yeah, find yeah. a used one yeah but it was worth it yeah it was a good deal yeah <laughs> here we got some more tables <laughs> those are huge two of them so now we're going back home with uh, this sprinter i have to fix the front as you saw <laughs> i mean pool position yeah pool position yeah now we are on over the hello water hello how are we are out uh, cruising with the truck shit how many parts do you guys have here <laughs> 128,000 parts. Look what I picked up today. These are uh, welding supports for the door. This huge one gonna be on the huge door inside here, which is lying down there right now. Those we're gonna weld on something like this. And yesterday I was in Oslo picking up this uh, test gasket. It's gonna be between the door here. It's gonna be like this. It's gonna be great. And here we have a bunch of aluminium plates we're going to use on the top here and in the door on the top and also inside here on the top. And here we have some uh, plates we're going to use underneath the aluminium plates I also just picked up. Huh? I said I'm out with you. Yeah. We are passing 19 and a half kilometer now. Yeah. Still going strong. Yeah, uh, I'm not strong anymore but still going. We are done. And we ended on 26 kilometers, something? Yeah, 26.3. Average speed each kilometer is 439. I think that's pretty decent on Sunday. I'm pretty tired after this, but Magnus is inside picking up something to drink. He's not tired at all. He's so fit. He was just flying and talking and blah, blah, blah all the way. Here we have the flying monkey. Not tired at all. 26 and a half. Yeah. But for you, that's like nothing, eh? No, it's a long run for me as well. It's, my shape is quite good. <laughs> it's so. really good. <laughs> Compared to mine, it's fantastic. Please, please say that again. You did really well today. Ah, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm really happy. To be a racing driver, it's not too bad. So Boys. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what are we doing now? Making a podcast. Making a podcast. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> it was in time that you guys uh, joined me in my vlog. Yes. It's about time. It's about time. <laughs> so then we are done with uh, the podcast. How long was it? One hour and uh, forty-one minutes. <laughs> we have been talking a lot of shit. <laughs> but it's going to be good. It's coming. I don't know when it's coming, but I will post it when it's coming. I'll put a link here below. So look now. Neon is here today, again. Light is not so good here today. You guys see what it is? This is a door. <laughs> and it works. And it works. Perfect, eh? We are closing down for today. And this is also closing time for this vlog. Yes. Uh, again, it took a lot of time before I made it, but it has not been a priority in the last weeks. So that's how it is. Jon. Yes. Say cheerio. Cheerio. Cheerio.